Today we're gonna to talk about how to make a uh, animal sculpture. We're gonna start working on that today. I have, of course, a cute little picture of a bunny I'm gonna use. You need about five or six images of your bunny from different angles. This is enough to get me started. I need some newspaper to wrap around my clay. You need a slab that's gonna be rolled out. It's gonna be a quarter inch thick. You have to have a slab of clay all rolled out and stuff as well. I'm gonna go through basically getting the body started today, get that kind of rolling, and then we'll go from there. It's gonna be a lot of basic shaping of the creature first, and then worrying about details and stuff like that a little bit later. So, but first, let's go ahead and get the, the body started. So today, we're gonna start getting the body shape of our little rabbit here we're gonna work on. Um, it's gonna be a little bit of work to get this done, but we'll get started with it, and we'll see how it goes. So here's the picture I'm gonna be using as a reference. I have my slab here, and I have my newspaper. I don't wanna get this thing to get too huge. Probably when it's done, it should be uh, about the same size as your shoe, roughly. Uh, I don't wanna make them too big because you're trying to carry them back and forth. Or even in the classroom, it's hard to load them up. My recommendation, here's my bottle of vinegar. Your product should be like no bigger than this. It's right here, it's as big as it should be. So that's what we're gonna work on right now. So first I'm gonna do is get a slab. I'm gonna trace this slab out and wrap it around my newspaper form. We're later gonna go back and cut these things apart and get the paper out. So I'm just gonna come back in here with my knife. Cut a slab out. Put some of this extra stuff on the sides. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just enough to get going with it. I'm gonna begin to wrap it around my foam form. Now, it doesn't have, like I said, you're gonna also gonna go back and you're gonna take this form apart, add some slabs to it, stuff like that as well. And it's gonna be some more shaping of the hair, which I'm working on right here. This is just kind of getting the piece together. I'm gonna to cut parts of it apart and all that stuff as well. The first thing you wanna do is kind of get that slab kind of wrapped around your piece is what we're doing here. It's gonna change a lot over time when we're building it and shaping it. Don't worry so much about details, just kind of shaping it and working like that is what we're worried about at first. Getting the basic shape down is what we're trying to do there. Is get the basic shape of our, of our rabbit. If I look closely at the back of my rabbit, it's gonna kind of sit at an angle like this. I can take some of that clay, gonna fold it in itself on the bottom. Like that. I'm gonna get the basic shape of what I want for my rabbit. I don't have a head yet, nothing like that on there but I basically want to get the basic shape started. And there's the basic shape. Now it doesn't look like much. This is how you start sculpting a little bit. And then we come back in here and really work on blending these pieces together. One thing I'm going to do also is I'm going to grab some extra newspaper and begin to kind of shape it some more. So I'm going to kind of speed up the montage of this a little bit and get this kind of rolling. This part of the project here, what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of Going back in, trying to shape it more, looking at the picture, like at the back of the rabbit, give it more of a slope in the back, uh, stuff like that. It's gonna be really rough at first. Just gotta kinda work the piece and go around and stuff like that. It's gonna be really rough. But you wanna get the clay which really soft because it's easy, malleable, and easy to work right now as we speak. So kinda blend it, smooth it. Don't worry about scoring and slipping as much. Just kinda get the basic shape I'm trying to make. And as it begins to firm up, I can be able to shape it some more. Working on expanding the piece here, working on the haunch of the leg, shoving newspaper in there, trying to expand it out some more, and then when I have gaps and spaces, I'm gonna fill them in with slabs of clay over top of it. Again, I'm not worried too much about detail, just get basic shapes right now, kind of the same thing we do with the shoe. The clay is extremely soft right now, so I don't have to worry about scoring and slipping because I'm really pressing, tiling, and shaping everything together. Use the newspaper to help hold that form. I will probably later on, when I get closer to the top and stuff like that, I'll probably pull some of that newspaper out or cut it in half later to shape it. But just paddle, shape it, get the basic form, try to make sure everything is good.
I have removed all the newspaper, uh, the piece, and I'm going back in, smoothing the inside of it, uh, making sure it's all well blended together before I begin to shape it and make sure all the parts are well blended together. As we can see here, I'm now beginning to go, uh, begin to shape the outside parts, getting the basic bottom half of the rabbit done, shaping the legs, getting the desired size I want, going back in, smoothing. And also at this point here, I'll begin to use some vinegar as well to help join certain seams together. If cracks begin to appear, I'll fill it in with some clay. And that's what I'm working on here. Also, quick note, a paddle is a great way to get the general shape of your piece, uh, to kind of work things out really quick, kind of help keep everything nice and smooth and evened out. Even the back of the handle can be used for uh, smoothing out things on the inside and uh, getting some details. Like, so if you don't have a paddle, a spoon works really well as well. Now I'm cutting the top to kind of even it up before I add on to the next piece. Before I begin to add on the next top of the piece, I'm going back in and shoving newspaper back in there. Kind of help hold the form and the shape a little bit of what I did. Let's take all the newspaper I used and just take little pieces and crumble it up and put it back in there. Once I've done completed that, I'm now going to measure it out and put the top piece on there. Just kind of slab out, same size in there. Going back in, scoring and slipping it on, using some vinegar to help uh, join it together because I don't have the slip. And then kind of press it, blend it, weld it back into the piece for a shape of it. Now I'm building kind of the neck part of the rabbit. I'm also going in with small amounts of clay to fill the inside seam to help reinforce it so it doesn't come apart. This is very critical because I'm going to be going back and shaping, manipulating it for sure. So I really got to work it. I'll go back in again with my paddle to begin to shape it to help kind of get the narrow end of the neck to get the upper part of the rabbit done. Once I've got the neck kind of blended and smooth, I'm now going back in putting more newspaper in there to help reinforce it before I start building on the head portion of the piece. back portion of the rabbit's head I'm just gonna make a small pinch bowl get it as thin as I possibly can and then I'm going to reattach it back to the top of the neck of the rabbit so the back of the head will begin to form uh, since the clay is pretty soft I don't have to really about worry about scoring and slipping it because already that part's already been scored but I'm gonna add some vinegar around the edges it can help so I can blend and smooth it all together so before I start building up the front of the face of the rabbit it's the back of that that's like a nice round base Once I get the back part of the head made, I'm going to go back in and add some uh, slabs around it to begin to shape the rest of the head. Use a paddle for some shaping. I do shove some newspaper in there and just kind of blend it and smooth it together. So they kind of bring it into the front to kind of make the front part of the nose of the rabbit. You can see I have more images and pictures of uh, the rabbit down there I'm using. I'm going back in and just kind of building it up, closing it in, smoothing it out, kind of close off the face of the rabbit. Shoving newspaper in to help hold the form and everything else. Once I get it closed in the front, I kind of to press in the eye sockets for the eyes, kind of begin to look at the shape, see what else I have to do to the, the top ahead of the bunny. I'm really not worrying about details, just kind of looking at everything, seeing how it's coming together, seeing how it's working, see what else I have to do. Um, I get a rough idea of what the face supposed to look like. You can see here, I got a little bit of clay in the front, I'm trying to narrow it in, so I'm just kind of squeezing that clay in to get the finish shape. 